you guys, it's Jessica, and today I'm going to share with you guys my everyday makeup drawer. When I started this series long, long ago, um, it was actually a drawer, and I kind of go back and forth, but right now I'm using this piece right back here. You might be able to see it. I'm going to close up on it, obviously, in a second. Um, that I bought on Hot Look, I am sure. I buy all of my organizers on Hot Look, which I can link below. But um, I bought it recently, and I've been using it, and I kind of like it. I I switch back and forth. I don't like having a lot on my desk. It kind of drive me, drives me nuts. But at the same time, it's nice to be able to just pull it and it's all right there. So this month it's in there. Next month it might be back in a drawer. It might still be in there. We'll see. I might go back and forth because I can never make up my mind. But let's go ahead and get into the makeup that I'll be trying out, using up, etc. this month. So this is the container I'm storing everything in. I will link the website below that I bought this from. It's not gonna be available all the time on there because it's a flash sale site, but if you keep checking back, it usually appears like once every few weeks, I would say. And they have a lot of other good acrylic pieces, but this is like a really thick acrylic. It's really nice. Everything is like stationary, except for this is the only thing that moves in here. It's just like a little three, or three slot organizer, but the rest, like this whole back thing is open. This is open, this is a little part that doesn't move, and then this area is open, and then there's like a little chunk there. Hopefully that made sense, I don't know if it did. But let's go ahead and get into what I'm trying out this month. So the first thing is this Hourglass Strobing Powder and Euphoric Strobe Light, and this one is just a really pretty, I'm actually wearing it today, like at the beginning of the video, just a really pretty, really glittery, Highlighter. I didn't like it at first, but it's kind of grown on me. So, I mean, it is what it is. It's not my favorite, but the more I use it, the more I like it. I feel like this has to be a highlighter, though, that I wear at night. Like, if I wear it to work, I feel like in regular lighting it looks crazy. <laughs> I'm also using the Wet n Wild Ombre Blush in the Princess Daiquiris. It's just this gorgeous, like, pinkish peach, and it's got a little bit of shimmer. You don't have to have a highlighter with it, which I really love. And it's just absolutely beautiful. Let me show you a swatch. Isn't that gorgeous? Some people complain about this and say that they don't feel like it's very pigmented, but on my skin tone it shows up. On some that are deeper, I could see where it doesn't show up as well. So just be aware of that. Back here I have three Sonia Kashuk quads that I recently hauled in the drugstore haul. I have, I have Shimmering Sands, bra, Fair and Square, and then Bronze Beauty. And they're all pretty, they all have like a really glittery shade in them, but they have so much fallout. Even just the regular shimmery ones have so much fallout that every time I've worn it, I've like regretted wearing it. So I'm still not sure how I feel about them. I'm kind of sad because they're not that cheap for drugstore quads. So over here, I actually bought this on Birchbox's website. It's a cargo full-size blush in Bali. And when I saw it on the website, it looked just like a really pretty everyday pink. But when you actually swatch it, it has like this blue shimmer twist to it. It's kind of interesting. It's of course not swatching well, but it looks beautiful on the cheeks. They say it's like a swimmable, so it's like waterproof. I don't know how true that is yet, but I will have to let you know. I don't know. I don't know that I would swim in it, but you know, who knows? Over here I have a Benefit They're Real tinted primer. It's the tinted like brown primer. It has the same brush as the Benefit They're Real mascara but it's just meant to go on beforehand. I've used it for like a week. I like it. I don't know that it's really making that much of a difference with my lashes, but I'm gonna keep trying it. This I just opened this week. It's the Boots Number no. 7 Stay Perfect Long Lasting Volume Mascara. And this one has a really, really thin brush, which I actually don't mind because I feel like I can really get my lower lashes well and my upper lashes. And it seems to hold a curl pretty well, but again, I've only used it for a couple days. I scooched it up a little bit. Right here, this is the Maybelline Superstay Better Skin. And I have fallen in love with this concealer. It's, I have it in number 10, and it's just a really simple doe foot concealer, but it just seems to stay put. Do, does it cover like the darkest of circles? No. But is it really comfortable to wear for every day? Yes. I think this might be the concealer I bring with me on my cruise because I feel like it's just so comfortable, and even when I'm sweaty, it's just gonna kind of stay where it is, but not look cakey. Speaking of really thick concealers, this is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Illumination. I just got this from It Cosmetics in the mail recently. I've only tried it once, and I didn't love it, but again, that was one time, so I wanna try it a couple times. The regular Bye Bye Under Eye is really good. The illumination, I'm not really seeing the difference, so I'm just, I'm just curious, so I need to try this some more. I love the light pink packaging, though. 
Here I have two eyeliners. This is the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Pencil in Zero that I've been using for like months. It'll never die. It's really good. I don't want it to die, but it's just crazy how long it's lasted. And then my favorite, the Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner, which I have used for like ever. It does not budge. It's got a really thin tip. It's so easy to do a wing, winged liner. I literally travel with it, use it every day, like never stray. <laughs> For my brows, I'm using my favorite, the Maybelline Brow Sap, which is also called the Define and Fill. I used it today. It's got a pencil on one side, and then on the other side, it's got a sponge that dips into powder in there. And it's just the perfect thing. I just wish it had like one more arm that has like a spoolie on it. I also have the Boots Number no. 7 Lash and Brow Perfector Eyebrow Gel. It's okay, it doesn't really hold my brows in place perfectly. And it's really a wet formula, but I love the brush on it because it's really, really small. So you can be really precise. You can see where it's already getting brown. And I also have this MAC Pro Longwear Lip Liner in Staunchingly Stylish, which is a perfect, like, nude peachy brown where it's not too brown, it's not too nude, it's literally just right. I love this color. And the formula of the Pro Longwear one is so much better than the regular formula. A subscriber named Sam sent this to me in my Canadian makeup haul, and it is amazing. <laughs> so back here I have the Pixie by Petra Hydrating Milky Mist that I just got in my like unboxing video. Um, I've only used it like once or twice. It's just a really nice mist to throw some moisture on your face. That's how I've been using it, and I just like it for that. I also have this new BB cream that I'm trying. I love the Dr. Jart. Um, gold label like BB cream that's in a gold container that looks just like this But this is the black label detox so far the only difference I've seen this one has SPF of 25 the other has SPF of 45 But in the formula I'm not seeing a difference which is not the worst thing because I really like the original formula I just wanted to try another one so really liking the hat And I love that it's got a pump applicator on the other side and the packaging is actually really well made the foundation I'm using when I want a little more coverage is the Boots Number no. 7 Lift and Luminate Foundation. This again has a really nice pump and I just love this stuff. I've been mixing it with this MAC Strobe Cream here and it is just the most beautiful effect. I love it. If you're curious, I wear the shade Warm Ivory in this. So here I've got the Pixie uh, Book of Beauty in Minimal Makeup. And it's just got like uh, some contour shade, or contour shade of blush, some highlights, and then some eyeshadows. I have really liked the blush and contour, or bronzer, whatever it would be for you. Um, I really like those. The rest I haven't played with a ton. But then behind it is my favorite, my Sephora Z palette. Um, it's got about, I would say, two... I would say most of this is a mix between MAC and Carity shadows from my dupe video. I picked my favorites of them, so some of them I kept the MAC. A lot of them I kept the Carity ones, and some of these are actually Makeup Geek as well. So they're just my favorite, favorite ones. I will link this Z palette below because it is the perfect size. It's like not huge because I have a really big one, and it's not too small. It's just perfect, so I'll link this below if you're curious. It was only like 10 bucks. I also pulled this baby out. I haven't used it in so long. This is the L'Oreal La Palette Nude 1. And I loved this. If you saw my old video where I talked about the comparison of this versus the second palette they had, I loved this palette and I forgot how much I did. So I want to use this some more. And then the primer I'm using right now is the Maybelline Master Prime in the Blur and Illuminate 200. I love this. If you've got dry skin, you will love this primer. And then the serum that I am obsessed with is the Paula's Choice Resist Super Antioxidant Concentrate Serum. I've been using this for so long. It has completely transformed my skin. I love it. Then up here, I already showed the MAC Strobe Cream. And then I also have the, the MAC Luster Drops. A lot of these are from my Canadian subscriber that sent. Um, this is in the shade Pink Rebel, and it's just a gorgeous liquid highlight. If you put a little bit on your hand and then put a little stippling brush on it, and then stipple it onto your cheekbones, it looks gorgeous. She also sent this Quo blush in the shade Pinch, and it's this perfect, like, peachy pink color. It's got shimmer where you don't really need a highlight with it, but it's not glitter, so it doesn't have weird fallout, it doesn't look weird and splotchy throughout the day, it's just perfect. And then she also sent this Fasanti highlighter in Golden Child. It's like a highlight duo. And I love this. When you swirl them together, it's the prettiest golden highlight. Oh my gosh. I know it's not really doing it justice here. 
because I am like so pasty right now, but I'm always pasty, what am I talking about? Down here I have my Holy Grail It Cosmetics Celebration Foundation Illumination Powder Foundation, that was ridiculous, in light. It's a very high coverage powder foundation, but it's got like this illuminating quality where when you put it on your skin, it doesn't make you look, it makes you look matte, and it looks like there's higher coverage, but but it has this quality where it makes your skin look like it's still glowy as well. It is the most amazing thing. I literally wear it every day. I can't believe I haven't run out of it yet. I'm also trying to use up the Kevin Aquan Sculpting Powder in Medium. And by use up, I mean I don't want it to run out, but I've already bought a second one. So like I'm, you know when you hit pan, you're like, all right, like I'm ready for my new one. That's kind of where I'm at. So I love this. It's the perfect contour shade for my skin tone. It's gray tone just enough. I love it. Then I've got the MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre, and it's just like a yellow toned primer for me. Um, I also have Painterly, but I like Soft Ochre a little better. I also have my favorite gel eyeliner. Subscriber sent me this, because she had one and she wasn't gonna use it. It's the Mika or Mika Beauty um, Gel Liner in Black. I love this stuff. It just does not move. It, oh my gosh, I just love it. I also have this Ardency In Eyeshadow in Sunday, and it's this gorgeous light gold color. I've heard really good things about this. I've tried it, and I mean, it's really pretty, but it's no better than like other shadows I've had, so I feel like I need to try another shade to see what the fuss is about. I like it, but it's kind of expensive for what it was, to be honest. I also repurchased the Wet n Wild Single Shadow in Brulee. This is the best when it comes to a light eyeshadow. It's perfect for under your brow bone. It's perfect to blend shadows together. I mean, it is just perfect. And so, so cheap, so pigmented. I also got the Josie Marin Coconut Watercolor Cheek Gel A. I bought it on Hope Look and it's an island pink. I thought I wouldn't like it. I was actually impressed. When you actually stipple it on, it comes across as more of like a pink. And it, it's just different. I was impressed and it actually stayed on. I need to use it some more, which is why it's in here. Lip products I have here are kind of just light ones since we're going into spring. This is like the L'Oreal Extraordinaire and it's in 101 Rose Melody and it's just got a doe foot applicator. It's just kind of a light, nice, rosy pink. I think it's so beautiful. These don't last for a long time, but they're not really meant to. They're just kind of comfortable to throw on. And then I also have the Rimmel the only one lipstick, and it's in the shade 200 It's a Keeper. And this one I've only worn like once. It was a little frostier than I had anticipated. I loved the color, I love that blue tone pink, but I've only worn it like once. I need to try it a few more times, but I'm not sure that I love that. And I think I've covered everything in this for this month. So hopefully this video is enjoyable for you. I will link my playlist of all of my everyday makeup drawer videos from like two years ago to now. If you're curious about what makeup I have tried, what I was trying last month, etc., what I was trying two years ago, which is always fun to go back and watch and think, oh my gosh, I realized how much I hated that, or oh wow, I used that up and I loved it and I still love it and I bought a new one. I hope that you'll subscribe to catch more of my videos and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.